Hey guys, Gary Drake back with Wi-Fi on steroids. We have our new and improved product right here. It's got the higher gain antennas, so you're going to get a better signal. And I'm going to show you a little tip on how to connect it outside, so you're going to get better a connection to the hotspot in the campground. Now, some people have been having a little problem with the connecting the plug to the device. So just set it in here like this. Now you're going to push real hard and turn to the right. Did you hear that little click? And now you know that it's connected. It's very easy to do. And then uh, having it outside, it's going to make it work a whole lot better. I've uh, plugged in a little extension cord. So we just go ahead and plug it into the extension cord. It's going to stay outside. We put the toothpick in the hole. We hold it in to the count of five. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead inside and we're going to connect it to the computer. So come on inside and let's show you how that's done. Here our laptop and we're going to look in the Wi-Fi menu. And we're going to see wireless N. And we're going to go ahead and connect to wireless N. Now, we are already connected to wireless N, but we can see down here you have the triangle. So we want to connect the device to the internet or the hotspot in the campground. So that's once we get it connected and we have the little triangle, we're going to move over here. I have Google Chrome. I'm going to open Google Chrome. That's that red, yellow, and green disk. Our browser window is going to open up, and I'm going to type in the numbers 192 period 168 period 1 period 254. Now remember, this is the new and improved uh, unit. It's unit B, so the number is a little bit different from the first device that we put out. Once we get the numbers in the browser, we're going to hit the enter key and the green screen is going to show up. Now, the password is already in there. The password is ADMIN admin, ADMIN. Make sure it's all lowercase. Don't let it capitalize the first A here in the front. Just put in, and I'll do it for you. A D M I N and then submit. And when you submit, you're going to come up with a new screen. I want you to use the wizard, so I'm going to go ahead and click on wizard. Then I come to W I S P, so I'm going to check W I S P, hit the next button and then we're going to come up with the menu. Now this is going to show all the hot spots in the campground that are available and you see the strongest one is up here on the top. We have a real good signal. It's not uh, security password protected so we don't have to worry about any password. So we're just going to select uh, that one and if there was a security key or a password that they gave you when you came into the uh, campground, you'd go ahead and you'd put it in right here. But since we don't have one, we just scroll down and hit apply. And as you can see, uh, it's going to begin to connect to the hotspot at the campground. And once you get to 100%, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to go back into your, it says connection interrupted, don't pay any attention to that. Just come right back down to your um, Wi-Fi menu and you're going to see uh, Ocean Grove Wi-Fi underscore EXT. This is the device Wi-Fi on steroids. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose the and connect to underscore EXT and now we are connected. And as you can see, we have internet access at the underscore EXT. Now, 
to put the password. If you uh, want to have a password while you're in the campground, you can do this. Once you're connected to underscore ext, you go back over to Google Chrome, open up Google Chrome, and choose wireless at the bottom. And select wireless, and you see you have the underscore ext. So I'm going to backspace that out, take it out all together, and I'm going to put in Gary, and that's going to be the name of my new uh, hotspot. And at an under security, we're going to choose the WPA security, and I'm going to put in a security key. It's going to be one, two, three, four, A. B, C, D. It has to be eight letters and a combination of letters and numbers. So just for demonstration purposes, we'll use this. You can use whatever uh, security key you like. And we're going to hit apply. And now what's going to happen, it's going to apply that uh, password protection to the existing underscore ext uh, connection that you've already created. And once you get to 100%, again, go in there. And now I'm going to see Gary. And there it is right there. I just made that new hotspot. I'm going to connect to Gary. And it's getting all the information that we just put in there. And then it's going to say, there's a pin. You can put in a pin, but we're not going to use it. We're going to connect using a security key instead. And that's the password that we just put in. So. I'm going to put in one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, and we're going to hit OK. And now that it has the password, it's going to go ahead and connect to the hotspot with the password protection. And you're going to see a little triangle there for a minute, then that's going to go away. And uh, as you can see, we have full bars, internet access. And when I hover over here, you're going to see we have excellent uh, connection. We have a WPA connect, uh, protection, security protection. You see it? And that's Gary, the new connection that we just made up. So that's how easy it is, folks. Um, hopefully, you'll find it easier to use than the um, other product that's new and improved. The antennas are going to work better for you as well. So guys, uh, thank you for buying uh, Wi-Fi on steroids. We really appreciate it.